Hi there, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. My name is Scott and I'm up to my neck in tomatoes. Summer is here. I've got some tomatoes coming in and I just wanted to take a very brief moment to uh, review one of my favorite tomatoes now. Uh, this is the Bonnie Best. It's delicious. Let's go take a look. This is the tomato jungle. You can see that the tomatoes are now starting to ripen in earnest. I've got a lot of them in here. I've harvested a lot already. But the heat's taking its toll. These tomatoes are going to come out soon uh, once, they, once this harvest comes in, once all these tomatoes ripen. Um, they're going to be done for the summer. I'm going to put beans in here. <clears throat> you can see they like to hide down in there. And uh, these are my Bonnie Bests. And these have given me one of my best tomatoes this year. These are beautiful Bonnie Best. I have had one of these that was delicious. But these guys, they're nice size. Nice and uniform in shape. And uh, nice and plump and round. And these are actually, these have been vine ripened. They were hidden from the birds. That's why I didn't find them. But I uh, peeked in there and sure enough, there they were today. These are some good, good tomatoes. Bonnie Best. All right. I'm going to slice these up and enjoy them for lunch. Always have the sharpest knife you can to slice tomatoes. Makes life a joy. Alright, so as we get into this, you can see it's a beautiful, basic tomato. Put these on here. I don't eat that one. Mm. It is a classic salad or hamburger tomato right there. Consistent all the way through. This is going to be delightful. Again, this is Bonnie Best. Now, when you start getting here where the stem comes through and the pith gets green, I like to actually cut that out. I, uh, I don't like that part of the tomato. What I do at this point when I'm just going to eat them is I'll slice off uh, you know, slices like this. I call this the shoulder of the fruit, and I'll put that in the compost. Again, these are very round tomatoes, very consistent all the way through. And uh, like in my <clears throat> previous video on the best way to enjoy a tomato, that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to salt them. The salt helps draw some of the juices out so you get a real juicy plate. I'm going to put cracked uh, fresh black pepper on them. And then I'm going to drizzle them with olive oil and I'm going to refrigerate them until they get nice and cold because that's when they're best is when they're cold. Again, slice the shoulders off and it helps me to avoid having to deal with this uh, part right here. Although in this, in this particular tomato, there's not a whole lot of deep stem in the, uh, into the fruit, which is a plus. I am probably gonna have to grow this tomato again. That's a lot of aromas. I hope this plant makes it through this heat because I want to eat those. That's a pot of sauce right there. Lots of tomatoes. Alright, check this out. This was my volunteer, one of my volunteer tomato plants. And I've got a nice ripening fruit down there. I don't know what kind it is yet. Once it ripens up, we might be able to tell. Thanks for joining me again on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, share our videos, like our videos, and comment. We'd love to hear what you think. Take care. Bye-bye.